For example, take a really controversial area like human rights. I mean, there's no really serious attempt in the West to think, to understand how human rights uh, operate in China mm -hmm. compared within the West. I mean, there's simply a totally different tradition because uh, and this really goes back a long time. It really goes back probably most importantly to Confucius, you know, where the individual is not extant, is not the, the, the cent at the center, but rather it's, it's, it's the group. It could be the family, it could be a wider group, it could be the whole of China. But the individual only has a meaning in, Confu in the Confucian discourse in the context of the group, in the context of the society. Then the question is, well, how did it, how did it, uh, how did China succeed so well? One, the government had a very good, clear strategy. And secondly, and something which is never discussed in the West, is that amongst the people, there was a very powerful tradition and sense of social cohesion and social solidarity. It goes back to Confucius. It's not even just this period of history. This is deep in the Chinese psyche. Mm -hmm. So that's why they did so well. And that's why the United States, for example, did so badly.